It's so important for me personally to challenge myself. And me old saying is, if you don't use it, you lose it. Walking in the fresh air, listening to birds singing, it's just so good. And I just want to keep it going as long as I can. And I've got to be there. I'm Ron Snaith, I'm 68 year old. I live in uh, Woodside in Wrighton. I started out as an apprentice joiner. At the time, shipbuilding was massive on, on the Tyne. Everything was lagged in uh, asbestos. The bulkheads were all um, asbestos lux and different particle boards. And I volunteered to cut these um, with a basic uh, Martindale mask, which was just a, a bit of tin foil basically, with a bit of lint. We may as well have just breathed everything in. And on 21st of December 2018, uh, I was given the horrible news uh, that it was cancer, but especially mesothelioma. When you're given three to nine months to live, uh, it's, it, it is quite awful. Because I've, you know, I've always been tough and fit and healthy and got through everything. But I didn't think I could get, get through that. I was actually given a, a list of uh, solicitors to contact. The next day I phoned um, Irwin Mitchell up uh, and they arranged to come to the house virtually straight away. Ron contacted Erwin Mitchell in January 2019 and within a couple of days we went out to see him and took all of the additional information that we needed to try and get on with things and ease the burden on him as best we could. Within a couple of weeks we'd managed to get him a substantial amount of benefits um, to help him financially in the meantime because he had to give up work. So that was able to help him with things like paying his mortgage um, and the bills and then within a couple of months, we'd also managed to get a substantial interim payment for him from the other side. We also got provision for funding uh, for private treatment as well in the future, which is something that Ron's likely to take up. And if it wasn't for the legal case, he wouldn't have had that option. Everything just went so smoothly. I couldn't believe how, how well it went at the time. They actually got me case one before it went to court. I received a, a lump sum. The treatments cost tens of thousands of pounds and, you know, without a claim, people can't afford it. It actually gives us peace of mind. I hadn't known a, a solicitor like Emma before to be so friendly, uh, upfront, and, you know, we love, we love seeing each other. I think Ron is an absolute inspiration. Um, he's just, his motivation and determination is something else. Um, I've never known anybody like him. And the amount of people that he's helped over the years since he was diagnosed himself with mesothelioma, he's just a real inspiration to everybody. It's hard to imagine going back uh, over four and a half years, being told I had uh, limited life left with a, um, a disease that's uh, terminal. I'm here now and still quite fit and healthy and long may it continue.